everyone. Hi everyone, this is Megafilm X again. And uh, this time we have all the Robot Master weapons, uh, including like, Yokuman. So now we're going to the destroyed Wily Castle. Here we go. The uh, lightning that you see at the beginning is inspired by the Dr. Cossack uh, castle intro. So this background is actually from a place close to my to, to where I grew up at my parents' place in my hometown. Just because I thought it would look cool. <laughs> Alright, so here we go. So the nail shield is the weapon of choice here. It just destroys everything like the mines and the missiles and everything. And it it it, it ignores shields as well. So the things that you see in the background here uh, are actually coming from a TV show that I liked when I grew up. It's uh, it's called The Girl from Tomorrow. Uh, it's a, a series about a girl who comes from the future and she travels through time and stuff. It, it was a pretty good show. And in the future they have these like towers with lightning and stuff. So as we uh, climb up the castle, you will see that it matches the actual map on the intro of the level. And this is the famous, uh, the, the famous pipe that you always see on the side of, air, of almost every Wily Castle in the series. So this section of the level is actually meant to be like Needleman, the, the Dark Needle stage in, uh, in Mega Man 3, where you have to manage your weapon energy to cross the pit as uh, with Rush Jet. The thing is that in, in Unlimited you have um, weapon energy tanks, so I was trying to find a, a use for them. A use for the weapon energy tanks outside of uh, outside of like boss fights at the very end, or, because I noticed that no one actually uses them any <laughs> anyway. So I was trying to find a use for them. And also, you can pause the game, use a, a, a weapon tank or whatever, and and if you go back to rush jet, you will not like cancel the rush jet. So, also this that section with the rush jet part um, was actually supposed to use an enemy that I ended up not using. And uh, that enemy was supposed to have uh, like a cone-shaped field of energy in front of it, like under it or above it, and it would drain your weapon energy. So um, you would have even more uh, energy management to take care of in in the level if I if I had put this enemy in. I really like this song. It 
So actually, I think I forgot to to buy the energy balancer. But whatever, it's okay. The vertical moving platforms. It it was an idea I had when I uh, when I was uh, younger. And to tell you the truth, maybe I shouldn't have used them. They, I don't like them that much. I was trying to do something nice with them, but they're kind of limited. Uh, if we... like... It, it was supposed... they were supposed to go faster than that, but I found out that they, they were causing problems and... And it turns out that, you know, they're not that interesting, but anyway. So the checkpoints in the Wily stages were originally supposed to to be like in Mega Man uh, 1, 2 and 3. The thing is that you would need to... Hold on a second. They would bring you back, like even if you, if you reach the boss, they would bring you back to half the stage instead of bringing you back to the boss. And I've always... I think I must be the only one who actually liked that in the first four games because I thought that it actually made the Wily stages kind of scary and... You know, it made them really threatening, so... But it turns out that we changed that because uh, people thought it was too cruel. <laughs> and that's okay, I mean... As long as more people like it. This section didn't have any rain at first. I just decided to add it because I thought it would make it look cool and... Um, it also fits with the electric theme of the, the boss. Oh no, it's the electrical crab! The Ellie Crab! And it's obviously a reference to the dragon from Mega Man 2. In the sense that it will... It will knock you off into the pit if you're not careful. <laughs> like that. It's, it's almost like a law of, of, of nature that as soon as I, like, almost me, I, when I'm almost to the end of a boss fight or a level, um, I will die. And there you go. He's not that hard, but again, you have certain tactics that will help you. Um, I think it's an interesting boss fight. So we are now at the second stage, but it is, I will do it in the next video, so 